I heard uh, pain. A UC football employee fired tonight. People who know him react to the sex charges he's now facing. And good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palolo. Police say that he was arrested after an incident inside a Kroger store. Jackie Conjato has more on what got him booted from the Bearcats football program. He's my neighbor. He's a good guy. This woman tells us she's in disbelief over the accusations. From what I know, he's a good guy. I mean, he's a, a role model. If anything, more like a mentor. I, I don't believe that he would do anything like this. I don't believe it to be true. Antrion Archer was the director of player development at UC. His bio said he has a wife and a son. Now he's facing a misdemeanor charge of third degree sexual abuse. According to jail records, he was booked into the Kenton County Jail on June 14th. The prosecutor says Archer is accused of exposing himself at the Fort Mitchell Kroger. From what I've known and what I know of him, he would definitely do nothing like this. According to his UC bio, Archer was hired in 2011. As for the timing, UC's athletic director says that the school only learned of the arrest on Friday and they fired him today. He adds in a statement, quote, UC Athletics is fully committed to upholding the highest level of professionalism and conduct for our staff, coaches, and student athletes. The university will cooperate with the authorities in this matter, end quote. Still, this woman says she's standing behind her neighbor. Friendly, good guy, friendly, family oriented, loves his family, loves kids, um, always, you know, willing to help, always reaching out to my husband to help, you know, if he needs something because he works so much and he was so dedicated to UC and to, you know, his job. He loved his job. I mean, he's a stand up guy, so I just, I don't believe it. And that was Jackie Congedo reporting for us tonight. Now, we tried reaching out to Archer and his attorney this evening, but we have not heard back. The prosecutor says Archer is out on bond tonight and due back in court next week for a pre-trial conference. He has no prior criminal record.